well-driven well robots, seven, and you know you six, can't complain about five, dominant four, young performers three, in this sport. So we'll two, see how this goes. One, fight, robots, fight. Oh, wow, oh. that that was not nice on the camera. Okay. So Red Hawk trying to take an aggressive tack right at the beginning. Dark Princess being a little bit more cautious in her take. Red Hawk more of a mid cutter horizontal design. Dark Princess doesn't seem like she can do too much damage when she's in the overhead configuration. So she's got to get herself flipped over if she wants to put that active weapon in. Yeah, it looks like that weapon's just a little higher than the wheelbase of Red Hawk. Absolutely. See if she can self right. Red Hawk's oh. taking a huge chunk out of one side of her wheel right there. You can see that on the left hand side of the robot when she flips herself over. There we go. Gonna make things very difficult. You see her trying to get herself spun over. She did. There she goes. She got hey, herself facing the right, right direction now. That is definitely a disadvantage of that design when you're facing off against Red Hawk. Red Hawk's weapon works just the same when it's upside down, right side up, doesn't matter. Right oh. now, both of these bots struggling with half of their drivetrain. You can see part of the wheel missing from Dark Princess. The other wheel just cut in half, but still tight, partially attached. Bots, each able looks like to inch a little closer to one another. Oh, it looks like we, yes, Red Hawk just lost a wheel. I just saw it go flying. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. That is not where you want to be. This is quite the turn of events right here. And that's a tap out. Oh, wow. wow. That was so close. That was such a good back and forth.